DJ Pro's most important keyboard shortcuts. DJ Pro is fully controllable by keyboard, which is perfect for putting ideas together for mixes or sets, especially if you don't want to set up your full rig. They can also help you out in a pinch. Today, we're going to go over the essential shortcuts for Mac and Windows. For all my Windows users out there, when I say command, what I actually mean for Windows is control. And when I say option, what I mean is Alt. Let's get into it. The number section of the keyboard is essentially all of your deck controls. Numbers one through five control deck one, which is your left deck. Number six through zero control deck two, which is your right deck. So pressing number one will activate the play pause button on deck one, and pressing zero will activate the play pause button on deck two. You can activate sync by pressing two or nine. You can skip backwards in a song using three or seven. You can skip forward in a song using four or eight. Lastly, you can enable FX number one on the respective deck using five or six. Next, we have the first row of letters below the numbers. This is the QWERTY row, and it handles all of your cue point activations. Deck one is controlled by using Q, W, E, R, and T, and deck two is controlled using P, O, I, U, and Y. Jumping to a start cue is as easy as pressing Q or P, but keep in mind, the start cue is not your first cue point. The start cue is what pops up when you click on the cue button. Activating cue points only works when you have cue points set though. In order to set your cues, you're gonna press and hold the option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, and then press the coordinating cue button. For example, if I wanted to put a start cue point on deck one, I would hold option and press Q. If I wanted to add cue number one on deck one, then I would hold option and press W. The same goes for the rest of the cue points. You just hold option and press the coordinating key on the keyboard for that cue point. Keep in mind, when you're using the keyboard shortcuts to create cue points, you can only set four of the available eight cue points. The other four, you're gonna have to use a trackpad to set. You also have the option to remove every cue point that you've set. To do so, you'll press a combination of Shift, Command, or Alt, plus Q or P. If you press Q, it'll delete all of the cue points on deck one, your left deck. If you press P, it's gonna delete all of your cue points on deck two your right deck. Now you know how to use your deck controls and manage your cue points, which is a great start, but here are some more shortcuts to make your workflow a little bit easier. Loading a track is super simple. If you've ever used Serato, it's the exact same thing. You hold command or control and press the left arrow to load a song onto deck one and the right arrow to load a song onto deck two. Have you ever been playing at an event and one of your songs starts to play backwards? If you happen to find a track playing backwards on DJ Pro, all you have to do is hold the Option or Alt key and press one for deck one or two for deck two. That'll change between reverse and regular play mode. Sometimes you need to set a quick auto loop. And to do that, all you have to do is press A to set an auto loop on deck one or L to set an auto loop on deck two. And to stop that auto loop, all you have to do is hold Option or Alt and press A for deck one or L for deck two, and that'll cancel out the auto loop. If you're coming from Serato, you've probably used instant doubles. And since you've used it in Serato, you probably want to use instant doubles in DJ. Just so happens you can. To do this in DJ Pro, you're going to press a button combination of Shift, Command slash Control, and D for deck one, or Shift, Command slash Control, and J for deck two. Lastly, if you want to record your sets, the easiest way to activate recording is by using the keyboard shortcut Option slash Alt, plus command slash control and R. These are the basic shortcuts you should know to make using DJ Pro a breeze. If you wanna see a full list of shortcuts, all you have to do is go to your settings menu in DJ Pro and click on the shortcuts tab. You also have the option to create your own shortcuts, but that's something we'll cover in a later video. But viewers, I'll leave it to you. Do you use shortcuts when you're DJing? Do you find them helpful? leave it in the comments. As always, if you made it to the end of this video, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. If you found anything valuable in the content, please subscribe to the channel. We have a bunch of videos going over the tech that we use as DJs with a lot more coming down the pipeline. My name is Seth, AKA DJ Seth V. This is DJ Tech Tips. Thank you for watching and we out.